I'll be showing you how to set up a successful aquarium using my simple steps. So stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. In this video I'll show you how to set up a successful aquarium using a few simple rules. If there is anything you want to see in my future videos, please let me know in the comments. So there are five important steps that you need to follow to start a successful aquarium. They are light, filtration, substrate used, CO2 and flow. So first of all, let's talk about light. There are many forms of light. You have T5HO, halides, LEDs. Today we'll be talking about LEDs because this is what I recommend. The reason I recommend LEDs is because of its efficiency. And if you buy the right LED, it will grow plants quite well. When choosing an LED, you want a light that will penetrate to the bottom of your tank. You want it to be strong enough to grow plants, but not too strong. Because if your LEDs are too bright, you'll start getting a lot of algae. I'll put some recommendations on what LEDs to buy um, in the description below. Okay, let's go straight to number four and five. We will be talking about CO2 and flow. In the video, you can see a power head which creates flow. And just below that, you can see a diffuser, which diffuses CO2 into the power head. CO2 isn't necessary, but it is important to have if you want to keep healthy plants that are algae free. Flow is very, very, very important. If you don't have sufficient flow, you get a lot of algae. And right here, you can see I'm using an Eheim 2217. Flow is important because it delivers nutrients, it removes waste, and it keeps algae away. Which brings me on to the next topic, filtration, number two. When choosing a filter, you want to over filtrate your aquarium. You want to buy a filter that has a higher capacity than what your aquarium holds. Now let's talk about substrate, which is topic number three. A lot of people buy gravel and they think it's enough to grow aquarium plants, but it actually isn't. The reason for this is plants do three important things. The most important is it buffers the pH to a level that the plants like to grow in. It also delivers nutrients. And lastly, it roots the plants into the soil. I'll go into more depth in future videos on this topic. Gravel is not enough to grow plants adequately. Plants do need some kind of fertilization to survive. And here in this video, you can see I have a bag full of fertilizing root tablets. I'll link it in the description below. I also have an auto doser that doses fertilizers into the aquarium on a daily basis. There is just too much to cover in this short period of time. But in future videos, I'll try to go over these topics in, in more depth, step by step. For now, just focus on these five steps that I've mentioned. Try to get a decent light for your aquarium, invest in a good filter, get some substrate, proper aqua soil, buy a CO2 setup if you can afford it, and lastly, try to get some kind of flow in your aquarium to deliver these nutrients and CO2 to your plants. If you follow these five simple steps, you will have a happily planted aquarium. And if you have happy plants, you will have happy fish and you won't ever have to clean your aquarium again. Everything that you need to start up a beautiful aquarium will be in the description below. I will be producing more in-depth content in future, so if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out. Thank you.